Hey everybody, welcome to Driver's Masterclass. Today I just want to show you one thing that uh, someone in one of my comments actually showed me and it's a new way that you can copy drivers in Blender. It's a newer feature that was not in 2.80 but I believe was in 2.81. So I have this like tank tread thing here and if I just move it on the X it rotates along and it's a pretty cool little wheel design. Now I want to add that X value to a driver. In the past, I would come here, I would copy the data path, go to the driver's panel, add the driver, and go through that whole process. Now it's a little bit different. I'm under custom properties, I can just click add. I'm gonna edit this instead of prop, I'm gonna change it to tread. The property value I'm gonna put at 0.0, .0 and the default I'm gonna put 0.0. .0. I'm gonna put the minimum at minus 10,000 and the maximum at 10,000. And I'll just click okay. So in the past, I would copy the data path, but there's this new option here, copy as new driver, which is very cool and will speed up your workflow a ton. So I'll click on that. If I click back on the tank tread, so if I go back to object mode, click on the tank tread, under the X location, I can just um, paste driver. Now when I click back on the bone here, I can just drive that value automatically. This is way quicker than what I was doing before. I right, right click here and do add driver and go through this whole panel or even come down here to the drivers panel and go through all the options here to get to the driver. I will say this though, this is a great feature, but I do think it's still useful to know how to fix things if something goes wrong here and to know what's happening under the hood. Um, it's great to be able to quickly do these features with these little nice automation things. It's also great though uh, as a rigger or just as an artist in Blender just to know what's happening under the hood. Anyway, I hope that improves your workflow. I know it's definitely improved mine. Um, I think it's a great feature for Blender just to have that copy as new driver option. It kind of elevates Blender even more. I hope it makes drivers a little bit less intimidating for new people to the program and encourages people to use drivers in their rigs and in their animations as well. A big thank you to my patrons for supporting uh, this video. In Patreon, I did submit a video of how I built this tank tread set up here. Uh, you can head over there if you want to check that out. Anyway, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>